Good morning everybody and thanks for joining me again for our look into God's Word on this Wednesday morning. Some of us, we like to do things on our own. Uh, I know the men especially when they're working with tools and electronics and stuff like that. They don't really want to Google or get advice from somebody. Men love to give advice. I'm not too sure about, about women, but I know when, when I've had to speak with men, they love to give advice about everything, about the car or about how to fix your TV set or um, how to cook your bacon, whatever it is. But, but we don't always like taking advice and, and we definitely don't like uh, correction all the time. So often we end up with something that was not really working and now it's probably not working when your wife told you just go to the shop or Google it, don't try to do it on your own. And what do we do? We've messed it up even more. And then I thought when I was thinking about this sort of thing, I looked and I found this verse in Proverbs chapter 12 verse 1 and it says this, to learn you must love discipline. It is stupid to hate correction. Now we could interpret this in a number of ways. I mean it's not just about uh, the situation I, I gave you now. But as Christians, we need to learn to love discipline. It's the only way we're going to grow in our faith. As musicians, we need to love discipline. It's the only way we're going to grow in our music. As academics, we need to love our academia, our reading, our um, academic work. It's the only way we're going to grow as scholars. We can take this and apply it to anywhere in any sphere of our lives as good friends we need to learn to love discipline to be better friends to have better friendships it is stupid to hate correction in any form of life it is stupid to hate correction but it goes on in verse 2 and 3 the lord approves of those who are good but he condem condemns those who plan wickedness wickedness never brings stability but the godly have deep roots. So there's a link between discipline and goodness, hating correction and being wicked. See, if, if we love discipline, we're going to recognize when we have been sinful and we're going to correct it, we're going to learn, we're going to grow strong in our faith, we're going to learn to love God more because of what He has done for us, His grace that He has demonstrated towards us. But if we keep being wicked, if we keep, keep hating correction, if we keep going on um, on our own paths, it never brings stability. Wickedness does not bring stability. And God disapproves. He wants us to love discipline because He approves of those who are good. And the godly, in verse 3, have deep roots. Deep roots in our faith, deep roots in whatever other sphere that we have where we've learned to love discipline. So I want to encourage you today, learn to love discipline. Maybe you want to correct something, or sorry, you want to fix something and somebody wants to correct you, who knows better than you. Learn to listen to that person, take heed of their advice. Don't hate correction. Discipline in this sense is you are, you are being disciplined in that uh, you've done something wrong and they're trying to set you right. It's not discipline as in, I'm a disciplined runner, I'm going to get up and jog every morning. It could be that, but in, in this context, we're talking about correction. Learn to love discipline. Learn to love correction. Learn to learn from your mistakes. And that way you're only going to grow as a person. You're going to grow in whatever sphere that you have learned to love discipline in, music, art, uh, academia, physical exercise, friendships, financial management. Learn to love discipline in that. Learn to heed correction. But also, if we learn to love discipline, we are going to learn to love God more. We're going to be disciplined in His Word, in what He has commanded us to do. Because we have taken the time to listen to Him telling us when we're doing something wrong. You know, God disciplines His children, those He loves. So we need to take heed of that. Where we've been sinning, maybe we haven't been aware of it, somebody points it out to us, maybe we read the word and get convicted. Learn to love that discipline, take heed of that correction. We're only going to grow our roots deeper and deeper and get strong in the faith. So, learn to love discipline. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word again to us this morning. Thank you for reminding us that discipline helps us learn, discipline helps us grow. 
and we pray for forgiveness where we haven't been disciplined, where we've tried to do things on our own, or we have just completely ignored uh, any kind of advice, be it from friends and family, other people, um, genuine correction but especially from you father where you've tried to correct us from your word where you've tried to speak to us and discipline us and we we've ignored that and gone our own way please forgive us and help us to get back onto that path to learn to love your correction to learn to love your discipline to grow our roots deep and strong into your word and into uh, this amazing gift of grace that you have given us thank you that you are our life our strength our provision and if we learn to love your discipline, we're only going to grow and get stronger uh, in you. And we pray that you'll help us with that in Jesus' name. We bless you and thank you for correcting us. Thank you for disciplining us. Thank you for not leaving us uh, to, to be set in our wickedness, but to correct us, to bring us stability and set us on the right path. We bless you and give you thanks in the precious name of Jesus. Amen.